Hi, thank you for joining me. My name is Anne Marie Peckham. I'm the owner of Amber Rose Floral Design here in Westport, Massachusetts. Today I'm going to be going over how to create a presentation bouquet. Um, this one will be going out for a customer today. So as we get started, um, the first thing I like to do is I like to strip some of the stems um, from the flowers. This helps to prevent the uh, flowers from mildewing up in the vase um, when the customer puts them in the vase. As we go along, I add, um, I add some of my more statement flowers to the top. And then what I'm going to do is um, add in uh, the different types of flowers in between our statement flowers. So we're going to be adding in these hot pink Gerber daisies, which are absolutely gorgeous. And really, you're just almost, um, you're creating everything more of a frontal um, focus. So when the customer receives the flowers, they can certainly just kind of lay them in their arm like that when they present it to um, their loved one. And as you're working with lilies, um, it's nice to kind of just step them down a little bit so it creates more of a frame. And then we're gonna add in some of these nice orange um, spray roses to really bring up the color. And as you go to, you'd like to um, just add in a little touch of greenery as well. Uh, you really don't want to take away from the arrangement, but it's nice to um, just add because it fills it in um, very good. So these, these greeneries are nice soft colors, uh, soft textures that will go in. And then we have some lavender roses. Um, these are called Ocean Song. They're a very soft lavender. And again, stripping those uh, greeneries uh, at the base here is good because again, like I mentioned, you don't want the, uh, the vase to get more, the water in the vase to get more mildewy. So that's kind of um, what you do there. I'm pretty sure mildew, mildewy is not a word, but I just made that up. So as we go on here. So, a lot of times it's good to just stop for a minute and, and almost like shake your arrangement out just to kind of make sure that everything's in the right position um, because a lot of things can easily get clustered up kind of like life it's like a big cluster sometimes And then we'll add some more of those orange spray roses towards the back. And then we have these interesting accent flowers called Gofrina, and they're also a nice hot pink. And they just provide a nice, uh, a different uh, texture to the arrangement, something more interesting anyway. those lavender roses in as we see as it almost looks like a wedding bouquet to start off with and then we got these beautiful locally grown um, stargazer lilies that we're going to add in especially with all these nice hot pink um, colors already it just adds to the arrangement even more because of that nice hot pink element. Let's see, I'll battle with this one a little bit. So, so far so good. We'll add a few more of these um, Ocean Song roses. And then next, um, more of these grofinas. I don't even know if I said that right. Grofina. Um, so we'll put those in. And then the other thing we like to add, uh, this is called a hot pink wax flower. Um, and this provides such a beautiful texture um, in any arrangement. So what we'll do with this one, I'm going to strip a couple of the things from the bottom. All right. We'll kind of frame it a little bit. We'll frame some of these um, 
these uh, wax flowers. Gonna give me a minute. Didn't have, didn't have enough coffee today, so bear with me. Um, all right, and then look, we can add add a couple more of these. Oops, there it goes. Uh, a couple more of these uh, hot pink gerba daisies. Now this is really starting to get nice and voluptuous. How's that word? I haven't used that word in a long time. All right, getting close to the end here. So, um, and I'll take pictures at the end afterwards of the, uh, the flowers after they've been wrapped and before they get presented. And we still have some of these beautiful graffinas to throw in. there for good measure. So that is quite the bouquet. Um, we're going to stop here after I'll take some pictures so you can see some close-up of the flowers and after it's wrapped and thank you for watching.